Mistral AI just released their first model and it's called Mistral 7B. They initially got a lot of attention based on how much money they raised for their seed round. So you might have seen this piece of news online, but you have to remember that even though it's a very young company, it was made by ex Meta and DeepMind employees. So these are not people who are starting completely from scratch. The model as we see is released with the Apache 2.0 uh, licensing. So that means that everyone can use it for any of their use cases, including educational or commercial use cases. And this makes this model to the biggest of its size to be made open source completely. Looking at their release blog post, we see that they released a base model, but they also released a fine-tuned model for instruct or uh, chat purposes. And the model is optimized for low latency text categorization and summarization, also text and code completion. So in the release blog post, we see that Mistral claims that they are outperforming Llama 2, the bigger model, the 13 billion model on all benchmarks. And they are sharing some details of this comparison with us uh, on the MMLU uh, dataset, for example. They also compare it on knowledge, reasoning and comprehension in English datasets. Based on these results, Mistral 7B seems to be performing much better than the uh, Llama 2 7 billion model uh, and also the 13 billion model, which, are, which is much bigger than the Mistral 7 billion model, uh, and also the Llama 1 34 billion model. And they're saying that they use the Llama 1 34 billion model because there hasn't been a Llama 2 34 billion model yet. It's kind of interesting to see their analysis here. They're showing us all the um, different kinds of benchmarks that they use to compare these models and also how Mistral 7 billion compares to the Llama 2 models. So effectively to reach the same performance on the MML, MMLU uh, data set on the benchmark, uh, Llama 2 has to have 23 billion parameters to reach the same level of performance that Mistral has with only 7.3 billion parameters. So Mistral is attributing um, their faster inference time to grouped query attention and their capacity to handle longer sequences at smaller cost to sliding window attention. And if you like, in the release blog post, they go a little bit more into details of how they use these technologies. Overall, this is a very interesting improvement, both because we see a smaller model that only has 7 billion parameters outperform bigger models, but also because we have a high quality model made accessible for everyone to use. Let's take a look at how we can use Mistral 7B right now. First option is to use Olama. Olama is just a way for you to run these large language models locally in a very, very simple way. All you have to do is to download Olama to your laptop. And then after you're done with it, you can go to the list of models. Here are all the models that they're hosting or not hosting all the models that they have in their repository. And you truly only need to run Olama run Mistral. So let's try that. But of course, it's going to take a second for it to download the model. I've downloaded it before, so it was quite instantly for me. And from then on, you can ask questions to Mistral. So let's start with, hello, my name is Musra. What is your name? Can you give me some recommendations for places in London to eat? And then it gives me a list of places to eat. What if I ask, um, are any of these vegetarian? Restaurants. All right, so they have vegetarian options available. Um, so just to check that, like it still remembers who I am, I'll say, do you remember who I am? Thank you. They should always be nice to our large language models. <laughs> All right, so this is how you can use it with Olama. And I'll also show you quickly how to use it uh, with Hugging Face because there's already a released version on Hugging Face. You can either use the base version or if you search for it, you'll see that there is a instruct version that also means the chat version. So basically the one that was fine-tuned uh, for a chat use case. 
On Hugging Face, we already have a good documentation for this. So if you want to use it in Transformers, you can say read more on the documentation, which I already have open here. Or you can also find it in the Hugging Face documentation under text models. Mistral will be there. Um, so what I did is to basically use all of this code from the documentation in a Google Colab notebook. You can find the link to the Google Colab notebook if you don't want to deal with it yourself. I will leave it in the description so you can find it there. Uh, I'll just give you some tips on like how I uh, made it run. So first of all, you cannot run it on a Google Colab, the free version, because you definitely need the GPU. Um, I set the A100 GPU to be able to run it. For the other ones, I wasn't able to. Uh, basically, I ran out of RAM. And it automatically, in the code here, it gives you the base model. If you want to use a chat model, you just need to change it to Mistral 7B Instruct uh, V version 0 0.1. And then, yeah, and then you can pass your prompts. So for the prompts, if, you, if you're using the instruct model, you want to use the inst tags in the beginning and the ends. Uh, so it's the beginning inst tag and the backslash inst tag uh, to make it obvious that you are the user uh, asking for something. So this is your part you're speaking and then it's the um, agent's time to speak. And that's all you have to do, because if you don't do that, it starts completing your uh, sentences or it starts kind of thinking that those sentences also belong to uh, the model. Uh, so if you want to have a chat experience, you just need to set the inst tags. So I tried it with this one, for example, if I have 20 apples and I give half of my apples to Sam, then Susie takes 20% of my remaining apples. How many apples do I have left? And after running the model, it told me that if you start with 20 apples, giving half uh, to Sam leaves you with 10 apples remaining. Then if Susie takes 20% of those remaining apples, that means she takes uh, two apples. So you have eight apples left. So for me, this quick mathematical problem worked, but I've seen other creators online who are trying to use Mistral 7B say that the, the little math problems that they asked uh, were not correctly answered. So you should try it out yourself to see how uh, it response. So I want to try the how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood uh, question. Let's see what it says. All right, it says the phrase how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood is an absurd question and does not provide any useful information. It is a humorous way to express the idea that it is impossible to accurately predict or measure something that cannot occur. Uh, all right, it sounds a little bit aggressive, <laughs> but it understood the question and it understood the context behind it and it did not take it literally. So that's good. Um, and this is how you can really easily start using Mistral 7B. What do you think about this model? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And in the coming days, the more we learn about this and the more in-depth tutorials we'll be sharing with you. Thanks for being here and I will see you in the next video.